sleep. I'm asleep. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to answer you if you scream at me. No. Oh, we got fog. <laughs> got a foggy lens. We're going to try daddy style, okay? Kind of a consolation prize. I love you. Soka. Good job. Whoa. Good job. Messy. No mussy, it's messy in the making. So just changed out the water and the flowers that mum and dad gave me. These are amazing. This is the same florist that did my wedding flowers. Which is amazing. Choo choo! Mummy train's leaving. Choo choo! Oh, why is, why is Dr. Zeus coming with us? Everything. Well, he bought special chemicals from the restaurant. Yeah, he's gonna. We're gonna wash the floor. Like it's a special neutralizer. Do you know I didn't say Vlogtober Day 15? You forget all these little things. So I have to finish the floors today with my husband. He because he um, brought home special chemicals from his restaurant that will do like the like neutralizer strippers so they'll just like really get all the gunk off the floors and just like lift everything up we haven't lifted everything up off the floors since we moved in here so that's why i like to do that it's been a year wow girl wow okay so i just diced up some tomato because it's, look, it's late. It's 11, so it's late, but it's Sunday and we've all slept in. I went back to sleep and Mussy had his nap because he woke up at 5.30. <sighs> Just diced up some tomato. And what I'm actually gonna make is a egg morning, like tomato and egg dish that my mother-in-law taught me that's very traditional to them.
So this is my fruit. And my father-in-law just bought fresh honey for my dad. Compared to where going to like gold, the Golden the Century yeah, all exactly. the time. Okay, we have some <laughs> Lebanese bread and some toasted pita. These are the eggs that my mother-in-law taught me. So it's just tomato and then you throw eggs in and you just basically sort of let them go and then fresh fruit. So the boys and I are gonna eat this, yummy. Bonding people, a bonding time <laughs> with my boys. <sighs> I don't think there has been one thing that has not been turned upside down and cleaned, like and vacuumed and mopped in this house. I feel much better now. Oh my gosh, I was on the floor laughing just then because my husband was uh, dancing to MTV in the TV room and my husband and um. Calvin Harris's Catch Feelings came on and my husband's like, what did you just say? And I said, don't be afraid to catch feelings. And he was just like, is that what it says? And I was like, what did you think it says? And he goes, I thought it said, don't be afraid to catch fish. <laughs> okay, so this is my feature today. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is my feature today from a question. Thanks for starting up questions again. So I think I say your name, Manar. I hope I said that right. Manar Clark. Hi, babe. Firstly, congratulations on your new job after graduating. That is so fantastic that she has the agenda GM. So the big size, bigger size, A5 size. And she wants a PM to gift herself. I think it's worth buying new if she can't find it pre-loved. Listen, after having this, this is probably, this, my longest item is my um, clay pochette in monogram. Sorry about the noise. We're still cleaning. I'm like, I'll go somewhere quiet. I'll go in my studio. And my husband's upstairs gurneying the terrace right above this studio. Anyway, sorry about the noise. This is like the most used, like lo other longest item I guess I've had. And you know what? I'm going to be so honest with you right now. I use this so much because I, because I make myself. Does that make sense? Like I force myself to. I think to myself, you know, jeez. I think to myself, you know, you've had it so long, it's in pretty shocking condition, like I, I've said this before in videos, but it's in shocker condition, uh, there's colour transfer all the way down the spine, I'm trying to see if I can get any of this in, it's like, it's so soiled, it's not funny, all the glazing is pretty much peeled off. It's all like fraying here on the edges. I'd have to get it reglazed. The button is completely tarnished. And it's just used. That's exactly what it is. I use it. I use it all the time. I force myself to use it. And I get the refills from Louis Vuitton to also like invest in it. What would I do? This is such a good bag size and because I need the information in here daily, so I need it daily. But 
So going in a bag is really handy, but if I have my time again, the, the common saying that it's really hard if you have big handwriting is true. It is very, very small. Um, the MM is probably a lot better for like writing in, but for like a compact size to go in your bag, the MM is just like, I think that's way too big. Uh, if I had my time again, I'd probably buy, the, buy this pre-loved in good, you know, good to excellent condition. I probably wouldn't buy it brand new. This size. <laughs> Does that make sense? I have thought of getting the, um, like, notebook cover, um, desk top notebook cover because I like that size. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of Q&A here now. Um... <clears throat> Uh, I'm not going to say I wasn't going to address this comment, um, but a lot of people asked me not to address it, but I thought about it when I saw the comment overnight, and I thought, no, I am going to address it because, because I'm bigger than that, do you know what I mean? And when I think about it, I want to teach Mussy in the future to be bigger than things like that. A lot of people and a lot of my subbers and followers be like, you know, don't respond, don't clap back, don't acknowledge. It just gives the person, you know, a pedestal and they're winning. No, that's not the way I see it. I see it like stand up for yourself and also set the record straight, you know, and be, be above it. You know what the thing is? Okay. <laughs> So if you've followed my channel and you, you, you know, like you're a long time subby, you obviously saw there is a comment. It is still there. I'm not taking it down. You want to comment that? I'm just going to leave it there to let you, to show your true colours, I guess. But there is a comment now on my birthday haul um, that has uh, just kind of opened up into a thread of people replying to it. It is, <clears throat> I'm going to say it's almost legally defamation of character and the person whoever you are out there has decided to you know what I'm gonna name this vlog that I'm gonna title this vlog that I'm gonna say about this comment that the worst part about coming onto my channel and saying something so like with such defamation of character to suggest that Louis Vuitton, Bondi Junction don't like me, you know, Serena doesn't like me, but suggesting they talk about me all the time. To publicly say something like that, I don't care. You do it. You want to hate on me, come for it. But do it on the gossip sites. Go on Guru Gossip, go on all that shit, and do it on there. Don't come on my YouTube channel and post your crap on my YouTube channel. Like, just go on all the shitty gossip sites. There's heaps about me. Go on there and trash talk me as much as you want. Say whatever you want. But don't come on my site. Say you know someone in the boutique that, like, says that they all hate me. Like, why? Why? Do you know what I mean? To take that much effort to be have that much poison and negativity and hatred. And the worst thing, you guys, the worst thing, hands down, this girl or guy, whoever it is out there, is from Australia. She's Australian, he's Australian, or whatever. Like, why on earth would Aussies not support other Aussies? This social media game is so big. There's so many influences in America and Europe. And it, we're a small little pool down here in Australia. Yet you want to bring me down and you're Australian as well. Like it is so harsh. And I know that I have a lot, a lot of haters that are Australian. I, I don't get it. There's a big tall poppy syndrome here, but yeah, that comment, that's rough. And to mention Serena and spell her name wrong, girl, get her name right. I mean, that's just stupid right there. Okay, I'm going to do some Q&A now. Moving on. Yay, first, Kerry Cunningham. Hi, Kerry. Yay, first 
qu uh, first comment, sorry, love from Johannesburg, South Africa. Hi, Johannesburg, South Africa. Thank you so much for your first comment, Kerry. Um, <laughs> this question is from Nisa, Nisa60604. Good, good day, <laughs> good day. Does Gallery Rare have an eBay site? Yes, they have their eBay store. They are huge in Japan. They're a Japan consignment store. They have boutiques all over Japan and they have their own website. They have their own Japanese website and they have their eBay store. Okay, this next question is from Louise. Louise Shanae. <laughs> is that right? Hi, Jerusha. Question, your coffee always looks so tempting and when I make mine, it seems to only fill a quarter of the cup. Which settings do you use? That's so coincidental. Look, I have my afternoon cuppa right here. Uh, okay, the way I make an espresso cup, uh, coffee is that we always use the middle, the middle circle, so the medium circle. So now I've been doing that. I use two pods, by the way. So first pod is Restrito, second pod is Espresso, so it's stronger. And then I pour my milk to the top of the spinner. Um, the key, honey, is in the mug. It's all in the mug. If you've got a really good size mug, you start to learn the sizes of milk that you need for it. Hey, Louise is from Wollongong. Shout out to Wollongong. Hey, hey. Nikki from Western Sydney, Australia. Hi, Nikki. She asks me, she's wondering about uh, how the Samorga bag organizer for the Speedy 25 is going. You know, it has not gone back in, <laughs> unfortunately. It is so beautiful and so well made, but I think I've just got so used to using my Speedy 25s without an organizer and it takes up so much space. Also, while I've got you with me, I'm gonna change my strap out. Oh yeah, I still don't have my nail fixed. I'll go and do it tomorrow. Nice. Oh, this is going to be really nice, guys, because it's actually so soft. I mean, compared to that, it is so soft. Wow. Wow. Yum. Rosie, do you have a problem with shit sticking to your fur? <laughs> 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 How does Pharrell's, how does Karis, <laughs> Calvin Harris's song go? You want me to catch you some fish? <laughs> <laughs> how about having some fish? <laughs> Daddy's feeding Mussy some lamb skewer. <laughs> Chew it, please. Chew it, please. Okay, we're going to say bye, boys. You guys can say bye, waving. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> bye, say bye, Moshe. Mm -hmm. Kisses. Mm -hmm. Good boy. See you. See you. Oh. Okay. <laughs>